you can set the default file name format, the folder structure, and where you store your client's files from the options. File name format is set from the file naming page of each module. Click File Naming to apply the settings for all years or expand the section to set options for a specific year. Select one of the suggested file naming to which you can choose to prepend the name with the tax year and add the adjusted date when completing an adjustment. You can see examples of your selection at the bottom. If you have chosen to adjust settings for all years and a black square appears in a box, it means one or more years do not have this setting. By default, files are saved on your Windows Documents folder and organized by return type and year. You can change this configuration from Client Folders section under Files and Folders. Enter a path. Use the variables to define the hierarchy and naming for your folders. Use a backslash to separate folders and subfolders. An example of your selection appears below the field. If you have a file open, it uses the data from that file. Files can be saved locally using a drive letter in the path. For a shared server or network attached storage server, commonly referred to as a NAS, Use a server's name preceded by two backslashes. To save to OneDrive or Dropbox, use the Windows username variable to point all users to the same folder on their computer. Everyone then saves the file in the OneDrive folder on their computer, which is then synchronized. Check Create New Folders as required when saving a file to automatically build a folder structure as you save tax returns if it does not already exist. This saves you from having to manually create new folders every year. Click Preview Folders to see a list of folders that would be created using this structure. This list includes any exceptions, which we will discuss further. A Create link appears for all folders which do not yet exist. Click on the ones you want to create or click on Create Missing Folders button to create them all at once. Remove will delete the entry from the list. Click Share to share the folder on your network. To share all the folders at once, click the Share All Folders button. View Files opens a folder in Windows Explorer. If you prefer to take control of your folders and not use the folder structure, Use the Exceptions section. Exceptions take precedence over the folder structure, so you can also use it to choose a different location, thus creating an exception to the structure defined above. You can use the same variables as for the folder structure, or click the Browse button to choose the folder. Click Add to add it to the list. Click on the header of a column to sort the list. The Create, Remove, Share, and View Files links have the same functions as discussed previously. The Remove All link clears the entire exception list. Common Folders allows you to configure the location where feature settings are stored, which may be shared with other colleagues, such as the next invoice number, the data published from SlipSync, files for Giphy import, attachment required when transmitting a T2 or CO17 return, and data monitors and favorites. Printer Settings allows you to manage and share the settings files for each print set or form. Check Share Printer Settings box. Click Use Default Location to store the settings in the default local folder. If you are using an Options Profile, Click the copy to your options profile name to move settings file into the options profile zip file. File settings allows you to configure various settings related to files. Check allow passwords to allow files to be protected with a password. Note, a password protected file will not appear in client manager. Check use file verification to have tax cycle verify that files are saved correctly. If you intend to carry forward files from VisualTax or DTMAX, check the box accordingly.